Hey, what's going on friends? It is Slash6870 here, back at it again with another PC related video. What I'm talking about today is the announcement of the new Pascal series GPUs from Nvidia. They announced the GTX 1080 as well as the GTX 1070 and I'm just gonna give you guys all the information we know up until this point about these two new GPUs. Now I would have made this video earlier but I was gone all weekend so I didn't have the chance to which is a darn shame because as soon as I heard the news I was very excited so let me just tell you guys what's going on. First, I'm just going to tell you guys a few things that really jumped out to me when I first heard about the release and read up on it. The first thing that really captured my attention is the change in price. Now in case you guys don't know, the GTX 970 released at 330 to 320 US dollars. The GTX 1070 will cost 380 at the minimum, and the GTX 1080 is $600, which is $50 more than the price of the 980, which was $550. So in both GPUs, we're seeing an increase in $50. Now for the 1080, that doesn't really matter too much. You know, it's already a high-end GPU. It already costs a lot. So $50 isn't really that huge of a jump. But the 1070 going from $320 or 330 all the way up to 380 that's a pretty big leap for a mid to high end GPU and it kind of throws off the price scaling as far as these GPUs go. So it's going to be interesting to see how the GTX 1070 will be able to fit into a PC build guide with the increased price. I mean I'm sure the performance is definitely going to be worth it but an extra $50 does kind of throw off the price, uh, price bracket from what we're used to seeing so it should be interesting to see what happens with that. The second thing that really jumped out to me was just how ridiculously fast and overclockable these GPUs are. So Nvidia showed a demo of a GTX 1080 running Paragon. It was clocked at 2.1 gigahertz air cooled and it was only running at 67 degrees. That is just ridiculous. That is straight up ridiculous. I've never heard of a GPU breaking 2 gigahertz and it really all comes down to the 16 nanometer process which these GPUs are based on. In case you guys don't know the Maxwell GPUs were based on the 28 nanometer process so jumping to 16 nanometers is a pretty big jump. In fact it's a two generation technological jump so Overall, it's very impressive. These GPUs are going to be very power efficient running on this just tiny, tiny process, and it's very power efficient. So overall, as far as power usage and overclockability and cooling goes, these GPUs are in a class of their own. Another thing that jumped out to me, though it's a little bit silly, is that the reference cooler design has been changed. Thank God. For the first time in forever, there will be a new series of reference cards called the Founders Edition and they feature a much more aggressive, edgy, kind of sharp, uh, cornery look and I really do like it. I think it's a nice change from the standard uh, Nvidia reference cooler that we've seen the past who knows how many years and I really do enjoy it. And even though I don't usually care for reference coolers just because they usually aren't as good at cooling as, say, you know, an aftermarket cooler. It still looks good and I would not be ashamed at all to have that GPU in my case. Now that I got that out of the way, let me get to the important stuff. Specs. So, the uh, GTX 1080 features 8GB of GDDR5X which is clocked a lot faster than the GDR5 that we saw in the 980. This is clocked at 10 gigabits per second, whereas the 980 was at 7 gigabits per second. So it's a pretty good leap as far as memory speed goes. And there's eight gigabytes of the stuff, so it definitely has plenty of memory as far as, you know, that goes. Nvidia has said that in certain VR applications, the 1080 outperforms the Titan X by two times. So what exactly does this mean? How is this going to translate to actual benchmarks? We don't really know. A lot of people have just heard the two times faster than Titan X remark and they've just kind of latched onto it. They kind of freaking out. But in reality, I don't believe that the 1080 is going to perform two times better than the Titan X in standard games, in standard benchmarks, in real world performance. 
you know, it's just not very likely. And I'm sure it's going to perform great, but two times better than a Titan X is just a little bit too much to ask. I think Nvidia just kind of picked a single benchmark that the 1080 is far better at than the 980 at, and they just kind of said, hey, look, in this one single benchmark, the 1080 outperforms the 980. Or, I, mean, I mean, the 1080 outperforms the Titan X by two times. It's very easy to do, and it's a very clever marketing scheme, but it does not necessarily transfer to real-world performance. As far as actual benchmarks go, NVIDIA doesn't actually have any actual FPS numbers, they just have a graph that kind of vaguely depicts uh, performance, but the 1080 does just dwarf the 980 in performance, uh, judging by the graphs that NVIDIA has shown on their website. So as far as in-game performance goes, I definitely have high hopes for the 1080. Now the 1070 we haven't gotten as much information about. It does have GDDR5, just standard GDDR5 memory, rather than the GDDR5X, which we've seen in the 1080 but it does have 8 gigabytes of the stuff and it's definitely a great improvement from the 3.5 gigabytes we saw in the 970 so nothing to complain about there now the question is what is AMD gonna do you know Nvidia has laid their GPUs out on the table and they're pretty dang impressive the question is how's AMD gonna react and when they do react, I'm going to compare the two and just make the best decision because that's what I do. I go for the best price, I go for the best deal, the best price to performance, and that's what uh, my channel's all about. I'm not biased either way, but I am very impressed with what NVIDIA has shown us today. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like rating, and if you're new, be sure to subscribe and uh, join the Slash Think Tank. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great night. Peace.